My name is Mark Schauer, and I'm the Democratic candidate for governor against Rick Snyder. And I'm running for governor because Rick Snyder's taken Michigan in the wrong direction on multiple fronts. Uh, he's cut a billion dollars from our public schools, which you know, education to me is my number one priority. It's the great equalizer in our society and the most important investment we can make. Uh, key to a good job is a good education. But uh, this, gov this governor's economy works pretty well for you if you're wealthy or well-connected or a corporate special interest, but it's not working for everybody else. I mean, his you know, retirement tax, along with proposed cuts on retiree pensions and as part of the Detroit bankruptcy, he raised taxes on parents raising our kids, which are our most precious resource. He raised taxes on uh, the least of these, uh, uh, the working poor, and by the way, I have a plan to raise the minimum wage, which he opposes. But he did all of these things, these tax increases and education cuts, uh, to give a $1.8 billion corporate tax giveaway to businesses, even when they send jobs overseas. I mean, that's just the wrong direction for Michigan. This governor, you know, who ran as one tough nerd, has been tough on exactly the wrong people. I mean, talked about he's been tough on kids, on, on, on our teachers, on our families. Um, he's also been tough on our communities. I mean, I, uh, like a majority of people in Michigan, voted to repeal Public Act 4. They went right ahead and enacted essentially the same thing, PA 436, which, you know, took away the basic voting rights of people in Detroit and Flint and Pontiac and communities, more and more cities uh, in school districts across the state, and uh, that's wrong. Um, you know, it's anti-democratic, uh, it, um, uh, it's just taking away basic, basic rights of people, and, um, you know, we, you know, that attack on our cities is just, you know, our cities, you know, we should be investing in, you know, his urban policy is taking away uh, revenue sharing and then imposing emergency managers. You know, I believe that we not only need strong schools, we need strong, healthy, dynamic, safe communities where people want to live and entrepreneurs want to invest and create jobs. You know, as part of that, I believe that we need to rebuild our infrastructure. You know, when I was in the legislature uh, 16 years ago, you know, it was the last time we made a, a concerted effort to rebuild our infrastructure. When I was in Congress, we did that as well, sending almost $900 million to Michigan. But, you know, my vision for Michigan is that uh, we educate our kids, we provide training opportunities for uh, you know, folks that need jobs, including mid-career people who've lost their jobs. We have, again, we commit to our cities. I, you know, as someone who used to run an anti-poverty agency who started out in local government, to me, I will be a real partner with the city of Detroit and all of our core cities. I was a Battle Creek City Commissioner, a small core city. So uh, our core cities will be a priority. Um, you know, uh, we need a pipeline to jobs uh, for our young people. And, you know, rebuilding our infrastructure is a part of that as we eliminate blight and improve our neighborhoods. These are incredible opportunities for people who are looking for work and great career opportunities for young people. And I say that as someone who comes out of the, uh, the union building trades. I'm a proud card-carrying, dues-paying uh, dues union laborer. Um, and you know, that brings to mind another attack from this governor, this attack on working people and, and the labor movement. I was on the front lines of the right to work protest, actually got pepper sprayed in the process. And this governor, a very extreme legislature, took away uh, basic uh, collective bargaining rights um, and, and you know, it was a direct attack on workers and people in the middle class. So we've got to reorder our priorities ultimately to create uh, uh, an economy that works for everyone, to provide opportunity for everyone, and that uh, rebuilds uh, our middle class and rebuilds our cities.